Mull Historical Society, also known as Colin McIntyre, has returned to his Hebridean roots for inspiration for his latest album. In my mind, There's a Room features words from well-known poets and writers about a space that has played a significant part in their lives. And so there was only one place that Colin could record it, in his grandfather's old flat in Tobermory. My musical journey, I mean, it started on Mull. One side of my family on Mull are musicians, and the other side are, were writers. So my grandfather on my other side was um, the bank manager, but a poet. And my other grandfather was the island's plumber. But um, they used to say they had the same job. One was keeping the island afloat, and the other stopping it from sinking. So the plumber's garage, that became a kind of playground for me and uh, my cousins and one of my uncles joined us as well in the band. Mull was just a great place to grow up. I was always lucky, I had a lot of creativity around me. I won't let go of you now, you know it. Now and forever and I'll fall. Blow you my grandfather, the poet, banker, his old flat, my grandparents lived above the bank in Tobmory Main Street. It wasn't your average banking residence, you know, there was Cayleys every night, there was um, visiting film stars like Robert Wagner, Anthony Hopkins. If they were making a film, we'd be sent to this kind of eccentric bank manager's flat. And so that building, I found out last year, was going to become a recording studio. A friend back home has taken it over, so he said, look, Colin, you've got to come up and play, a f you know, make a few tunes here. So I thought, well, I'll try for more. My new Mull Historical Society album feels to me like it's a bit of a kind of full circle in my career because it's bringing together my two identities of music and writing, so as an author and a musician. So I thought I would ask some of my favourite authors about if they could provide original words on a significant room to them that I would then record in a significant room to me. I tried Ian Rankin, Val McDermott, uh, Nick Hornby. Within a few days I started to get responses saying, you know, can we, yeah, we can get you something by the end of the month or, you know, what would you like? It was just a privilege to kind of enter all these rooms. It was It feels like there's a kind of universal theme now around all the songs and the um, final track on the album is actually my grandfather Angus McIntyre reading his poem Memories of Mull and he recorded it in that room in the 1970s so he finishes the album. It felt full circle again for that reason. From the faded blooms of memory the blossoms that I cull smell sweet of golden summers of happy days in Mull. 